Hey everybody in modern drummer land. Uh, my name is Jason Hartless. I'm currently on the tour with uh, Ted Nugent. Uh, we're here at the Hard Rock Casino in Hollywood, Florida. I've been using a uh, crystal beat kit, but I've done a lot of different modifications to it, um, including um, using the 70s Pearl lugs and swapping all the hoops with uh, the modern Pearl Super Hoops. Um, one, of, one of the biggest things that I've been known for over the last number of years is using a certain snare drum. That is a uh, 1978 Pearl Chrome over brass. Um, this drum here, is uh, is my baby. I've used you know these drums on so many sessions. Um, th these are most iconically known for uh, Stuart Copeland using them on a lot of the police records. But I've done a, a couple different modifications, including using the uh, the modern pearl throw offs and modern pearl super hoops on top and bottom. But this drum has is to to me has really never been matched. It's just the perfect you know steel chrome brass drum. Um, as you see, I got both of them, uh, backup and a main. And I'm using a 24 by 14, a 12 by eight, a 16 by 15, and a 18 by 16, really big drums. Other modifications that I've made on this kit is the brand new Pearl R2 mount system on the 12 inch rack tom. You know, this system is just absolutely phenomenal. When Pearl first showed it to me earlier um, in 2023, before they did the big product launch, I was like, this is gonna be an absolute game changer because you know, it, it, it attacks a lot of what some of the other suspension systems have done over the years, but it really, really takes it to a completely different level. Absolutely centering the balance of the rack tom and just making the drum sing all day long. Um, I've played Vader drumsticks for many, many, many years. I'm going on almost 20 years as an artist with Pearl and Vader. Um, they've got my signature sticks here, which they're actually just the Josh Freeze signature stick, <laughs> but they're, uh, they're absolutely phenomenal. Um, you know, I, I've, I've, over my career, I've used different size sticks for different gigs. This gig with Nugent, the Josh Freeze signature stick was the perfect blend because it's just between a 5A and a 5B. I also use uh, Latin percussion, uh, woodblock and cowbell on this gig. Um, you know, with the woodblock, the iconic Nugent song, Fred Bear, has a rim shot on it, but you know, when you're playing you know, a large theater or something, you're not gonna hear a rim shot through the front of house. So we use the, the red LP block that really, really allows it to cut and the Chad Smith red cowbell. So it, it kind of matches the whole red theme of uh, this drum set. So it's really, really cool. I've used Remo drum heads my entire career. I've been very known for being a drum hoarder and I've got probably close to 50 snare drums. Every single snare drum that I own has a Pearl Emperor X on it because it really allows that sensitivity that you can get for a more higher tone, but you can also tune it really low and get it really fat and the durability is amazing. Um, on this tour, usually I, I use coated emperors or clear um, controlled sound black dots, but for this tour, we decided to use uh, clear emperors just because it, we needed a little bit more sustain. Um, but you know, with this kit, they had acrylic drums, you know, we wanted more overtones instead of just attack. So we went with those. Um, and because the keep with the red drum kit theme, uh, we're using the brand new uh, color tone uh, Power Stroke 3. Um, on the bass drum so that, you know, it can kind of be almost like a 3D see-through kind of look because the front head on the acrylic is clear. The back head is the color tone, so it really allows that, that kind of definition, you know, looking at the kit from up front. I've been using Sabian cymbals for, for a long time and I've been an artist, uh, you know, for the last uh, probably eight or nine years. And, you know, these cymbals are just the most versatile. Um, you know, for every situation in the studio, you know, I use AAX thin stuff because it just really allows the, uh, really nice warm tones. But with this gig, you know, we, we play at large theaters like this or amphitheaters. So you kind of need something that really, really cuts through. So the crashes I have are the AAX 19 inch explosion and AAX 20 inch explosion. Yeah, 14 inch artisan hats, which I absolutely love. They still get that nice crisp sound to them, but I'm, I'm still able to get a little bit more of a washy tone um, that really allows the cut in the mix. Um, this is the probably the loudest ride symbol of all time. It is the uh, 
22 inch Paragon ride. And you can see uh, logos have been washed off this thing because I've been using this for a long, long, long time. But this, uh, this ride symbol, you look at it and it goes ping. But, um, and then we've got a, a 19 inch AAX Extreme China, which is absolutely phenomenal because unlike, unlike some Chinas, you hit it and it just, it's dead. This one has a little bit more of like a sizzle tone when you attack the symbol. So it's really, really cool. And uh, again, cuts right through the mix. And you know, with this gig, the, the guitars are very, very loud up front. So anything that we're able to kind of use to jump through the mix is really, really a phenomenal. And these cymbals, and especially these acrylic drums really help that. With the bass drum, the, the customizations that I've had done on this was not only the 70s pearl lugs, but also some uh, T-claws to, to, to bring in that more vintage tone. And the stock uh, crystal beats come with acrylic bass drum hoops, but I wanted to try something different. So Pearl made these awesome black hoops with a black uh, red sparkle inlays to, to really, really make them pop and, you know, make it a little bit, uh, you know, more sturdy when you're, you know, going in and out of cases every single day and you got the various stage hands and taking stuff. But, you know, uh, I own a original 1975 crystal beat kit um, that's uh, clear. So when I got this kit, that was the first thing I wanted to do. I wanted to, to put on those same 70s pearl lugs to, to really help match the overall look and tone of it. Sometimes I, I, I hate seeing, you know, getting my, uh, <laughs> my rims all messed up. So we just put some nice gaff tape there to stop it from, you know, getting insane. Cause I, I like my drums super tight, especially the rack kick and snare. So uh, during a couple songs, my yeah. drum tech will, uh, will play tambourine and uh, shakers on uh, free for all and Hey Baby and Motor City Madhouse, you know, some of those iconic Nugent songs got, you know, a little bit more of a shaker stuff. So, right. you know, we got a little microphone that's attached to the uh, kind of truss here. So it's easy for him just to sit it, boom, done. Over the years, you know, when you're playing a million shows and, and you know, there's different situations, whether it be humidity or cold or whatever, you know, you're always prone to cymbals breaking, drum, uh, bottom head snares breaking, you know, so the, the biggest thing that I always have is making sure my backup snare is right here ready to go um and even so having matching snare drums really helps us you know if something goes wrong with that snare or if the snare is just not sounding right that night all you gotta do is boop switch it same drum front of house engineer doesn't have to change anything our monitor engineer doesn't have to change anything in our ears just super easy and uh quick transition so i started playing drums when i was about six months old my uh my dad was a professional drummer so the drums were always around and uh, you know about that time i would crawl right up on the kit start banging away and then uh around the time i was two three four years old i started um jamming with some of my dad's friends and then playing actual gigs out in detroit when i was about five um so you know fast forward to around six seven years old um, I used to play Nantucket Sleigh Ride by Mountain, and my godfather, Richie Scarlett, was playing bass for Mountain at the time, and Richie showed Corky Lang, legendary drummer of Mountain, a video of me at five, six years old playing Nantucket Sleigh Ride, and he was like, I gotta have this kid, um, you know, I gotta work with this kid. So, you know, for a good three, four years, Corky would, you know, come in and out of Detroit from Toronto, and, you know, we'd work in the studio, and, and we ended up cutting a record that came out when I was 10 that you know had uh richie scarlet corky and everything jim mccarty from mitch ryan and detroit wheels you know so it was a really cool um type you know record to do because it was almost like i was getting mentored through a recording session um so you know around that time i started touring with uh various you know national acts as well um i toured opening for motley crew when i was 14 with a band called shram and that was a three-month thing and then uh you know one thing led to another. I, I was 18 years old. I ended up touring with a band, Pistol Day Parade, that we were opening for Ted Nugent for a two month tour. And, uh, you know, kind of got my foot in the door. And, you know, the next Nugent tour, I got the call to join the band. You know, so it was a, a really amazing, you know, kind of progression of things that kind of worked out over the years. And been so lucky to have worked with some, you know, amazing musicians, um, you know, Eric Martin from Mr. Big, uh, Sponge, um, Tantric. Insane Clown Posse, Mitch Ryder, Detroit Wheels, um, Pop Evil, you know, a lot of a lot of different genres, a lot of different artists. And, you know, it's just been a, a fun, fun ride. And, you know, very, very fortunate to have, have played some with some amazing people. Thanks so much, everybody, for watching. You know, it's it's been such amazing. You know, I, the first time I was ever featured in Modern Drummer magazine when I was 10 years old, 
and you know to to have the great support that i've had all these years is just uh been an absolute honor thanks so much i hope to see everybody on the road